What's going on guys, Irish Welter, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanna to talk about two ETFs that are on my radar for potential investment, and those are iShares Global Clean Energy and also iShares Electric Vehicles ETFs. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So it's no secret that the world is trying to move to a more sustainable and renewable future. And we live in a time where companies are making tangible innovations into reducing our carbon emissions, with one of the most noteworthy sectors being the EV market, which has seen massive adoption in the last number of years. With many countries, including Ireland, intending to phase out the sale of fossil fuel cars in the next number of years. So to start, we'll jump over to the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF fact sheet. And you can see here at number one holding is Plug Power at 8.5%. Uh, so that's the biggest holding. They're a company who are into developing hydrogen fuel cells. And then Enphase Energy, another big name at 6% who are into uh, solar energy. So you'll see that this ETF actually offers a large amount of diversification, not only in different sectors, but geographically also. If we just look at sectors here, you'll see that they're in the industrials, IT, utility, uh, and then you've got you've got solar and wind. You've got a lot of exposure to a load of different sort of areas within clean energy. And if we go down here to geography, you can see that there's just 35% uh, in the US, uh, a little bit in China, 11.5%, and then a few other countries as well. So a nice bit of exposure kind of globally as well uh, to get diversification that way. So if we look at the price at the minute, it's not looking very promising. Uh, a lot of red, it's been falling over the last uh, a few weeks. And if you're confused as well, I didn't know this when I started investing, but this uh, stock is on the London Stock Exchange. So it's displayed in pence. So it's actually 9.62 a share. Um, so just in case you were confused about that, but if we go back to the month view as well, you know, not looking very healthy, uh, even the three month, it, it, it's been in the red for a while. But then if we actually scale back to a year, it's it's up 124%, which is insane. So this little pullback is, is nothing major. And it's kind of in line with how the market's been going in the last few weeks anyway. So I'd see this as a massive opportunity to buy and get in at a, at a cheaper price or dollar cost average if you're in it already. So I think I'll be looking towards this ETF come the end of the month. If it's still kind of at a decent price, uh, I'll be getting a few shares of this for sure. So now let's talk about the iShares electric vehicles and driving technology ETF. So even in the name there, you're getting exposure to electric vehicles, but also the technology that will underpin the vehicles. So you're getting exposure to IT, and also electric vehicles. I suppose they're going to go hand in hand in the future, but this is a really good ETF in terms of diversification that way. So when we think of electric vehicles nowadays, we mainly think of Tesla, but it's unrealistic for people to think that Tesla is going to have like 90% share of the market in the future. That's just unrealistic. So this ETF actually gives you exposure to a lot of companies who are existing car manufacturers. Like you'll see here, we have Kia, General Motors, Ford, Hyundai, like big names that are already in the car industry, with massive production lines already created. So it's unrealistic to think that these companies are going to be completely out innovated by Tesla. But it's good to see the Tesla on the top there, but you've got exposure to a load of other different areas, sectors and companies along with Tesla. So if we just jump on over here, we'll see that it's currently trading at just under $8 a share. And it's pretty much been trading sideways uh, the last three months or so, which in current market conditions is not bad at all, uh, considering the, the dips that we went through. Uh, but this has remained fairly resilient through that. And if we go back to the year view, we'll see that we're actually up 152%, which is insane. So I think we can all agree on the fact that electric vehicles are coming and they're coming to stay. So I think there's just massive, massive potential for this ETF in the next sort of decade, decade and a half. So I'll definitely be keeping my eye on this and probably buying a couple of shares of this come the end of the month. So of course, none of this is financial advice. This is just two ETFs that I'm particularly interested in and very excited about the future potential of. So with that being said, guys, thanks a million for watching the video. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. 
and give the video a like as well as it massively helps me out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.